Thomas Mulcair isn't the only politician currently feeling the heat. We have Justin Trudeau as well. He's facing attacks from within his own party, believe it or not. New documents revealed by Trudeau's campaign show the Liberal leadership hopeful has raked in almost half a million dollars on the speaking circuit. All this while holding a seat as an MP. Our National Bureau Chief David Aiken is thumbing through Trudeau's finances and he joins us now live from our Parliamentary Bureau. Now David, some pretty big numbers here. What do we know so far? They are some pretty big numbers, and uh, he did. He what he was disclosing to the Ottawa citizen was uh, his inheritance from his dad, Pierre Trudeau. It's 1.2 million dollars. That's worth right now. But also saying he has made a ton of money, as you mentioned, on the speaking circuit. Not all of it as an MP. Some of it as an MP. Here's what he has disclosed to the citizen. We should point out we have asked for these financial records, uh, but uh, Trudeau is saying uh, they're not providing any more information to any other uh, media organizations. 2007. There you go. $462,000 in speaking fees. He was not an MP in 2007. He became the candidate for the Montreal riding of Papineau uh, in August of 2007. Then there was a general election in the fall of 2008 and he became an MP in 2008. Uh, there was, uh, we're not sure if there was any speaking engagements between 2008 and 2011, but the citizen reporting that in 2012 there were four speaking engagements and Trudeau was paid a total of $72,000 for those four speaking engagements. And, and in fact, if you go to a website that, that called Speaker Spotlight, that is the agency that represents Trudeau, uh, he is still listed as available to speak on politics, environment, uh, you, you name it, uh, for between twenty dollars and $40,000. Uh, we do have an email exchange in which uh, there was an inquiry in 2010 while Trudeau was an MP. Someone said, hey, uh, it'd be great to have Justin Trudeau come to speak to our event. Uh, and in fact, uh, the email shows that in 2010, uh, uh, Trudeau was suggesting that to do that, he was charging $20,000 a pop. Uh, we can tell you that today on the campaign trail, one of his leadership rivals, David Birchie, is speaking to reporters in London, Ontario, and Birchie is telling us that he is uncomfortable with the idea of MPs receiving fees for speaking engagements. Birchie is saying essentially that part of an MP's job is to go about the country speaking on public policy issues of the day, and that if he was an MP, and Birchie is not an MP, he's never been one, but if he was an MP, he would not take speaking fees uh, to go around the country. Uh, we have asked for similar reaction from other leadership rivals, from Mark Garneau, Martha Hall Finley, Martin Cochon, you name it, and all of them either saying no comment on any of this or refusing to speak about the speaking fees, saying they don't want to, uh, uh, they don't want to, to mention it. But Trudeau uh, saying that uh, this is all he's going to provide, what he gave to the citizen, he is not going to provide uh, any more information to other uh, media organizations, including ours. Okay, now talking about Mark Garneau, you just mentioned him. Obviously, he's a leadership rival when it comes to Trudeau, but he had some pretty harsh words for Trudeau yesterday. Take us through what he said, and uh, how's Trudeau responding to this? Uh, right. Well, yesterday, uh, Garneau held a press conference here in Ottawa, basically all aimed at Trudeau, saying that Trudeau does not have the policy chops, that you need to know what a leader stands for in terms of policy before, uh, before you elect him. Uh, Tr Garneau also noting that other leadership races, perhaps Ignatius or uh, or, uh, or others were coronations, that was Garneau's phrase, and they were a mistake. Uh, after Garneau made those attacks, uh, Trudeau was in Kingston, Ontario yesterday, and Trudeau had this reaction to Garneau's comments. I'm you know, very proud of the campaign that I've run that has involved taking uh, uh, strong positions on everything from foreign trade to uh, uh, targets around education towards democratic reform. Uh, I've talked about a lot of substance and I will continue to, uh, but the heart of this campaign is about involving Canadians, about reinvigorating the connection between Canadians and uh, their politics in general, and not just the Liberal Party. Now, one of the interesting things that we've learned today as well is we all know there's going to be another liberal leadership debate on Saturday in, in Mississauga. And uh, we've just learned this morning there is going to be a matchup where candidates are going to go one-on-one -on -one against each other. There's nine of them. And guess who drew the first draw? It's Garneau versus Trudeau right off the top at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Of course, we'll have co live coverage of that event right here on Sun News Network. Now, David, I just want to pick out one word here, coronation. It's an interesting word, especially when you look at that back in 2007 was the year that Trudeau made nearly half a million dollars. 
what merit does he have other than the fact of his name, especially at that point in history? Well, you could ask it about, I suppose, anybody on the speaker circuit, speakers, uh, people who book these things, and it's groups like the Toronto Board of Trade and a school board uh, are looking to people who can attract attention. And so certainly uh, Trudeau has always had that. Justin Trudeau has always had uh, his dad's name, both, and that's been both good and bad. Good in the sense, in this case, that it certainly was a drawing card for uh, clients of Trudeau's willing to pay a substantial sum to have him come speak at their event. Oh, well, one day we'll be there to it, hopefully, David. You bet. All right, David, thank you. Thanks. That's the National Bureau Chief David Aiken joining us live in our Parliamentary Bureau.